schools like um they're like well your score is pretty it's okay but they were saying that um june is going to make me a more competitive candidate and so they were like, well, because I went ahead and told them what my score was, because I was like, I don't want to, I'm not sending this file through and wasting my time or money. Um, I'm a teacher. I don't have that to do. And so she said to me, well, um, your current score might work, it may or may not work. So then my thoughts are, okay, I start to worry about the admissions process and what that looks like this year. Um, and wondering if what if I'm not able to, you know, finish the June LSAT, then you know I'm, I'm wondering if they'll take the July LSAT or if what the applications will look like, you know, if, if that increases my chances with the current score. I, it's a lot going on in my head. And then okay, will they open up for July? What are the admissions doing? Are they slowing things down? What's going to happen with the admissions process, and what does that look like? Well, let's flip it. Let's flip it around for a second. Let's say I'm a law school. Law yep. schools are counting on students to fill seats and the deadlines are based on business as usual. Obviously, we're not in a business as usual situation anymore, which means they've got to change their deadlines too. They've got to extend their deadlines. If April's canceled and June is canceled, they've got to extend to July because they need you actually more than you need them. Really? Really, of course. I mean, they've got they've had fixed costs. They have overhead, they have bureaucracies, they've got land, they've got seats in the classroom, they've got professors, all of that has to be filled up. And so if they can't take you with a June LSAT score, that means they've got to take you with a July LSAT score because it's not just you, it's everybody in that situation. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.